Hi, I'm State Senator David Frock from the 46th Legislative District, which is North Seattle, Lake Forest Park, and Kenmore. I'm uh, coming to you today from the Senate floor. Uh, it's uh, early February. We are in the middle of our uh, initial work sessions in the State Senate this session. Uh, and I'm serving on uh, two committees, the Higher Education Committee and the Healthcare Committee. And I want to give you a little bit of an idea of kind of some of the things we're working on in healthcare. I would say the big issue uh, this session is uh, making sure that the health care exchange that was uh, set up during, uh, that was established during the Affordable Care Act um, is actually up and running by 2014, and that is our goal. We've had good uh, uh, information from the various carriers that are going to be participating in the exchange. So far, 11 separate carriers have decided that they are, go they are going to participate in this uh, health care exchange, which is essentially going to be a web portal for people who are in the individual market and, and small uh, businesses to go in and purchase uh, subsidized health care coverage. This was a key component of the Affordable Care Act to get us uh, to a path towards expanding coverage. And we believe, uh, and the studies will sh have shown, that this is going to lead to health insurance coverage for hundreds of thousands of Washingtonians. We have almost a million people in this state without health insurance. And the two main ways that we're going to get people into the system under the Health Care Reform Act are through the insurance exchange, as well as through the Medicaid expansion. And I'm, I'm pleased to tell you that I think both of these are on track and are going to be moving forward. We've got a little bit of cleanup work to do with the exchange to make sure it's up and running. We want to make sure that they are keeping their administrative costs down and reasonable so that the coverage that uh, you can buy on the exchange will be affordable. But overall, um, I'm very excited to, with the progress we've made, I would say Washington is one of the leading states in the country in uh, getting our exchange up and running. And I think at the end of the day, it's going to end up being a really good thing for many of our individuals and small businesses who will have a place to go and access insurance coverage. We've got to get people into the system, the health care system. The insurance commissioner estimates that we lose almost a billion dollars per year in uncompensated care uh, through hospitals and charity care. Uh, through our health care system, which translates into over $1,000 in higher premiums for uh, those who do have insurance. So we've got to get that fixed. A couple of other areas that I'm working on, um, as we expand health care coverage, I'm very um, interested in making sure that we do things to ensure that our provider core, and particularly in areas of primary care, um, are expanding. We've, we do have a primary care doctor shortage. One of the things I've, I've learned in the last couple of years on this committee is that we have pediatricians and others who are coming out of medical school with great amounts of debt. And I'm working on a piece of legislation that I hope will lead to um, some uh, additional uh, programs for loan forgiveness for those doctors who are coming out of medical school with, with these crushing debt loads if they're able to go and uh, serve in rural areas and underserved areas. So I'm excited about that piece of work. It's sort of in its initial stages, but it's something I anticipate working on over the next year to two years. And the goal would be to um, incentivize and find uh, ways for us to uh, empower the private sector, private foundations, to help us expand coverage in, those, uh, in the rural areas and in the underserved areas of our state. And I think this will be good for, uh, for people around the state. We need to get more people uh, the entire gen uh, theory behind health care reform is to get people into preventative care and primary care and keep them out of the expensive care, which is the emergency room and the urgent care centers. One of the other uh, major health care issues that's facing our state is how we handle people uh, who are on Medicaid who don't have access to dental care. Because of the budget, because of the recession in the last few years and the tight budgets we've had in Olympia, we've had to cut back on, the, on our Medicaid funding for what's called adult dental. And what we've seen, and this has been borne out through a lot of discussions and meetings I've had with hospitals like Swedish and others, uh, are increased uses of the emergency room for dental care, emergency dental care for people who formerly had access to dental care and now don't have treatment. One of the things that I'm hoping we're going to be able to do as the economy recovers and as our budget recovers a little bit is that we can restore some of that funding for adult dental, which will um, prevent these emergency room visits and actually save us money. Uh, the Insurance Commissioner's Office did a study a few years ago and estimated 54,000 visits alone to emergency rooms are a result of 
dental problems that are untreated that are entirely preventable. So we want to get uh, some of that funding back. We can get it matched by the federal government under the way that the Affordable Care is written. And, uh, and when we do that, we believe we're going to be able to um, stem the tide of some of the emergency room visits and get people into proper, proper dental, dental care. Uh, over time. So that's, that's an area that I'm focused on on the budget. So those are a couple of things that we're doing on health care. Um, I'm very excited to uh, be down in Olympia. We're going to be uh, working through the committee process for the next few weeks and then we'll be voting on many of these bills on the floor. And as always, please stay in touch and I'd love to hear from you. So you can reach out to my email address or give our office a call. Thanks.